People who haven't driven cop cars around tracks before don't know what they're missing. It is so much fun. You can just go smashing and bouncing over all the curbs and the car doesn't really care. You can straighten the uphill S's pretty nicely just by, you know, bouncing over all the curbs and everything and the car doesn't get upset, you're not in any danger of breaking anything. The Charger's got really a great chassis. You know, it, it feels like a much smaller car even though it's the second heaviest car on the test. As you approach a corner like this one, you can just sort of lift the throttle and, and turn it into the into the corner and feel the back end coming around and it really points nicely based on kind of what you're doing with the throttle. You can be kind of aggressive with it. There's tons of oversteer on the exits, especially if you're not careful with the throttle. Again, you know, you just go banging and crashing over all the bumps and who cares, it's a cop car with cop tires, cop shocks, cop suspension. With the Hemi under the hood, you really build a lot of speed going up the hill, but you feel so much more secure in it because you're kind of running over the curbs and you're not putting a lot of steering in as you might in some of the other cars. I guess in some respects you're sort of cheating, but hey, it's the police, they can do whatever they want. The tires on the Charger aren't really track tires. They have a bit of looseness in them. There's some understeer, obviously. If, when you get on the power out of the corners, you, the rear end swings wide quite easily. But uh, they held up pretty good, considering it's a long lap and it's a lot of weight to manage. On the column, there's a button, a toggle switch for shifting manually. The problem is, as you can see, it's you can never really take your hands off the wheel in order to get to that switch. So you just end up kind of living with what the transmission will give you. But in fact, the Charger's transmission is excellent. The electronics learn very quickly that you're kind of in a racy mood or in a pursuity mood, I guess, in this particular case. And it, it starts holding the gear through the corners. It's kind of locked and loaded for the next turn by being in the lower gear. It downshifts as you approach the corner, so you get a little bit of more engine braking. It's, it's really, uh, the transmission's quite intuitive and, and intelligent and uh, really a kind of a willing partner in this kind of work. It's kind of scary how good the Charger is, frankly, because if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to run from the police, you would not want them to be in this car. It's that good and that fast and that fun. Is police work supposed to be this much fun? I, I don't think so. Of course, it sounds like a Hemi too. That in itself is good. It's really uh, much better than any cop car I think has ever been. Naturally, we ran the entire lap with the uh, lights and sirens going. And that tended to distract the other lapping guys and they would complain about it. But hey, we're the police, we can do whatever we want. The Dodge Charger Pursuit did a time of 317.8 in the hot pursuit of lapping perfection.